Hi folks, this will be another senior moment. I want to show you, I recently decided on our, on the bases that I make for the router, the different palm routers. Uh, I had a little trouble, you can see this one, just take a look at it and try to figure out what it says on there. And it's just hard to, even when I have them on the shelf, it's hard for me to know what it says. So I decided to darken them up a little bit so that from now on, all of the engraving on the acrylic bases all have a color on them. Now the ones that I've already made that have the handles on them, I made a special spray jig, and I'll show you how I use that in a moment. But this, that's what this video is all about today, is just to show you uh, how I'm gonna darken the letters on the, on the router base plates. So, to begin with, I'm gonna take one that's got the handles on it. Normally I do these before I put the handles on. These I had the handles on already, so I'm not gonna take them off. So I made a, I made a little spray jig and this little jig just has the size of the of the base plate there and it fits on and then the base plate fits down within that that little rim that I have on there and so what I'm doing is I'll put that on like that and I've got this marsh ink and I use ink mainly because it's fast drying this dries in five minutes so gotta shake it up for a minute or so but <clears throat> since it dries so fast I think I'll turn this around fits a little better that way and all I'm doing now can you see what I'm doing here son yeah I'm gonna come over a little bit closer okay I spray this I've got a I just spray it to make sure the spray is coming out right. And then I just take it like that. And I take it like that. Then when I take take that spray jig off. Hang on, hang on, you moved out of oh, I'm out sorry. frame there. That's all right, I'll I'll take it back okay. down. All right. When I take the spray jig off, that's the that's a place to spray just like that. Okay. And so this'll dry in just a few minutes. And all I've got here is I've got a half of a paper towel and I've got lacquer thinner on it. I just coated it with lacquer thinner. And it just gives you, and now are you, yes, I'm are you right, focused yeah. in? I'll show you what, because I'm using the ink. So are you better off, you're, so you're doing that before it dries? Yeah, I'm doing this one before it dries just to show you what it'll do. Normally I'd leave this dry for about five minutes or so. Okay. But, but you can see here, even before it completely dries, it'll, uh, it'll wipe right off of the surface. And that's all you, all you want to do anyway is just get it off of the surface. Okay. And so that's <clears throat> that's how I do these with the handles on. Now, the one without the handles, which is really what I do now, is I make these up on the laser. I make them up a dozen at a time. And then I use the same same spray pattern. However, <clears throat> I will I will tape these off once I get all the ones with the handles done. I'll tape these two little places off so that I don't get over spray in there. I don't worry too much about it because it wipes off pretty easy. But that's really all there is to it. Now I'll leave this one dry before I wipe it off. Uh, so because it's, it really needs to dry down in the engraving 
And once it's dried on the surface, it's dried down in the engraving. And it takes about uh, four or five minutes for it to dry. So I could, uh, I could put some air on it. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> stay tuned right on that sun. I'll bring the air gun over okay. and uh, spray a little air on it. spraying air on it to um yeah, all, all the the air it just helps to dry a little bit faster I don't know if you can if you can see this but it's almost completely dry already yeah so that's that's a nice thing about using the using that marsh ink is it just dries so fast that's a trick I used to use when I was off carving on site and I was real busy um, and I needed the ink to dry faster than it would normally is uh, is actually blow on it uh, you know with a compressor or a vacuum that was turned around but right but here gives you some idea of of what you can do with it once it dries it just wipes right off on the surface. And since I've just got a half a paper towel with some lacquer thinner on it, it's got a cost of maybe a cent and a half or two cents there. So that's all I do. Okay. And then from this from this point I'll take it, I see I still don't have this counter drill yet, so I have to counter drill it for the screws where it hooks onto the base. So <clears throat> I take it to this point, then I counter drill it, and then I put the handles on. So that's really all I wanted to tell you on today's video is that uh, from now on, all of my, now, the thing about the, <clears throat> the ink too, if you have some acrylic, if you have a base that you want to color, that you want to put some ink, you can use any color. You can use red, you can use orange, blue, uh, and <clears throat> Marsh makes his ink in about 10 different colors, at least. So you can make those any color you want. I just happen to like black because it shows up well. But so, I mean, they could use paint for that matter, couldn't they? If they you could use, yeah, dry. you can use paint. And if you use paint, just let it dry before you go in and try to wipe it off. Yeah. Uh, and spray it lightly. Don't spray it heavy. You don't need to spray it heavy. Just spray it lightly. But <clears throat> the reason I'm not using pa uh, paint is because it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to dry. And when I'm in production, I don't want to wait 10 or 15 minutes for it to dry. So I wait five minutes and uh, in five minutes it's done. And I'm ready to I'm ready then to do a dozen of them at a time and if I happen to miss a spot I can go back and clean it up but that way I can do a dozen of these at a time and uh, I don't have to wait. So that's uh, <clears throat> that's a senior moment uh, for today show you how I do something. See you next time.